The red carpet is rolled out and guests arrive in tuxedos and ball gowns. This is no Met Gala or a Hollywood premiere, but a typical American prom. For 17 and 18 year olds, this is a night to remember, celebrating the end of high school with close friends and classmates. So you guys are gonna get three different photos. So you okay. can change up each time, however you like. There we go. Yeah, lovely. Oh, Thank wonderful. you so much. Oh, it's so nice. It's 12 years of our life that is now ended, so it's a way to celebrate it. Um, yeah. Have fun and, and enjoy it mostly with our friends. I feel like that's a big part. It's yeah. a big school thing. Everyone's here, the entire grade. The school pulls out all the stops celebrating its students as they see fit. Complete with a casino, live DJ, candy bar, and party gifts. The prom committee financing the event charges $35 a ticket, but the memories are priceless. This uh, prom costs about $9,000. I think they would be happy with even something more simple. Yeah. But it's us that put the pressure on ourselves to make it as nice as we can. Prom comes from the word promenade, which means to dress up and walk around in a showy way. In the weeks leading up to the event, students and their parents are on the hunt for the right attire to do just that. You like this? Single mother Nikki White accompanies her daughter in picking out the perfect dress. Their budget, $300, but willing to go higher. It's all about her. Whatever she wants, she gets. Including hair, makeup, and jewelry, she will spend over $1,000 for her daughter, and more or less the same for her son. In order to afford this price tag for both children, Nikki had to pick up a second job. I just feel good to be able to do this for them. I'm loving every minute of it, and I would work three jobs to ensure they um, got to go. For formal wear boutiques, prom season is a crucial time for business. We have 70% of the year revenue, so we make that within the two months of prom season. That's what, I guess, helps them with the business, too, because they really don't have a price in mind. They just want to make sure they get that look. Amin Musharab's limousine service is also flourishing during this season. His limo will be fully booked, transporting students to and from the venue. It's a good money-making uh, business as well. If we get overbooked, we are in trouble, but we try not to get overbooked. Uh, we have other companies that help us out in case we get overbooked as well. Uh, but it is, uh, it is pretty very profitable business. Spending $600 a night for a limo, these parents are quite literally rolling out the red carpet for their teenagers. Strike your pose, man. Yeah. Yeah. And they seem to be enjoying the experience just as much as their kids. We thought we'd do a little splash for them. Uh, yeah, to, to, to make it stand out, get a limo, do a little red carpet. Uh, we just didn't want this day to just come and go like that. Wanted to do something memorable. Bye. According to a 2015 Consumer Report, Americans spend on average $1,000 to attend the big event, all contributing to this lucrative million-dollar industry.